I'm standing here at the National Aquarium in Alcana, Abu Dhabi. Behind me, you have one of the largest tanks in the world and uh, through it is the largest tunnel in the Middle East. It has around 100 species in it. Um, I would say around 15,000 marine animals in just this one system. And this would be probably the biggest collection in the Middle East of shark species. We've got a whole variety in here, all the way from some of the cutest to some of the meanest and some of the biggest. This is Serendon. He's actually one of the best operators in the world. There's a whole variety of needs that come with every single species. And so we try to design and implement the technologies around each animal in order to, in order to uh, accommodate its needs. This field or this industry really got two sides of the coin. On the one hand, when you're front of house, everything is so natural and so calming and so soothing and we really try to take away the engineering from the, the front of the, of the picture and let people immerse. And then I just go through one door and I'm surrounded by this. It's like you, uh, you transition from one mindset to another just by passing through a single doorway. So gone are the days where my engineers are running around and turning valves. You know, a lot of the equipment is now automated. Um, computer systems actually drive the pumps, the speeds, the valves and everything else. These are all foam fractionators, and the foam fractionators are a lot like the beach on a day with big waves. All of that foam that you see that, that washes up on the shore, we're trying to create that same kind of foam here. Now, we introduce a gas here called ozone. It naturally occurs with a high voltage situation like lightning. So in a room, we are creating lightning. We're putting lightning through air in order to create the ozone gas, the O3. And what it does is, one, it, it drives the oxygen levels up. Two, it coagulates all the small particles together. And three, it disinfects or sterilizes the water. Without the ozone, a tank like that is just not possible. So the end result, after all the job is done with the biology and the engineering and the, uh, and the technology, we essentially have all these animals living in harmony. And uh, you can see the water is like Bahamas clear. It's, it's crystal clear water. Um, it has all the nutrients that they need. And then we have this, this abundance of thriving animals. This is how we deliver a piece of you know, nature's beauty in the ocean to these urban civilians, these people living in cities. The day that I finished this project and the day that I turned it on, it never turned off since then and it will not turn off. So this is a 24 hour, seven day a week, 365 day a year operation. We can never take our hands off it. And there's a lot of instruments that are actually monitoring its performance on a minute by minute basis.